This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Principles, Unit 5, Building Apps, Lesson 8, Boolean Expression and If Statements, Puzzle 18. Challenge. It's the weekend. It is? Huh. Okay. Make an app. Tell you that... Make an app tells you whether... Make an app, I guess, that tells you whether to stay home or go to school based on the day of the week it is. Ah, okay. In this challenge, you will add your drop-down menu in design mode. Yep. Add an element, add an event handler for the drop-down. Write an if statement that's slightly tricky. All right, well, let's start with our drop-down. They place theirs up here. Select the day of the week. Design. And I think it's, oh, good. It is just called drop-down. Put it, like, right there. And they have all seven days. So we'll go ahead and add those. And Sunday, I should then go down here, delete that. Okay, and now drop down, I'm going to call it day drop down. Sure. Okay, so I have my drop down. Add your own. Oh, they did stuff fancy. All right, I'll do a little fancy. I'll make my text a bit bigger. And then text line center. Why isn't my text center? All right, that should do it. And then add an event handler for your drop down. I'm going to hit this, insert and show code. We got an event handler. I'm not going to need the middle stuff. Write an if else that's slightly tricky. Let me grab our if else. Okay, so now we have something that will detect changes um, to the drop down. In design mode, yep, add it, yep, add, yep. If the day of the week selected has a weekday, a weekend day, Saturday or Sunday, then display the message. It says weekend, stay home. Otherwise, the day of the week is just the weekend. Go to school. Your message should other should be displayed by setting the text message label provided in design mode. Ooh, it is slightly tricky. Okay. So, well, what I know we're going to need, we're going to need to grab whatever this is, and we want to check if it's equal to something. I'm going to hide all this. I am going to actually check if it's equal to a weekend day, because there's less of them. And that sounds weird, but bear with me. This is the OR statement. Two lines is an OR operator. If this side is true or this side, it is true. So if this says if 943 is less than 2, that's obviously completely false. But then if this says if 1 is less than 10, well, that's completely true. So this whole statement would then be true. So if either side of this is true, the whole statement's true. As opposed to this AND statement, this means both had to be true. So if this one was false and this one was true, it wouldn't matter. It's false. We're going to use or. Okay. And then we're going to check on each side if something is equal to. What we're going to check, and I'm going to actually use a variable for our get text. Will it give me one? No. All right. I'm going to use a variable. And then I'll just call this day. Okay, and what I what it's gonna be equal to is get text ID, and what's the ID? We're gonna get the day drop down selection. Then I want to know if day is equal to Saturday or if day is equal to Sunday. Because if either of those are true, what would I want to do? If the day, oh, and they even said if here. Oh, that's kind of a good tip. They didn't say if it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. They tried to help us. Oh, and they said the word or. So if the day selected was a weekend day, Saturday or Sunday, then display the message that it's a weekend day, stay home. All right, so we want to use control. Nope, UI, set text. What do we want to set? It's called message label. And then we want to say, 
It's the weekend. Stay home. I'm sure what they meant is, it's the weekend. Let's code a lot. Um, oh, maybe that's just me. Uh, set text else. Message statement. Message label. And then we're going to say, it's a weekday. Go to school. No period in there. It's a weekday. Go to school. I'm putting one. That bothers me. All right. So what do we have here? Your message should display in the setting text area provided design mode. Once you have something functional, make sure you're, you test every day of the week to verify it's correct. If statement is trickier than before. I think we got it. And remember, only one part of the if statement will ever happen at the same time. So if I click on the drop down menu and make a change, once I made the change and let go, it says, oh, drop down has change. Okay, I'm going to run this function. Create a variable, get the text. So it goes, okay, what's the drop down text? Grabs it. Today it's Monday right now. And says, okay, it's Monday. Goes down to my if. If day, well, what's day equal? Well, day was Monday right now. So if Monday is equal to Saturday, nope, false. But it's an or statement and it sees that and says, okay, okay, well, maybe it's still true. Day is Monday equal to Sunday. No, false. So it does not write this on the screen. It skips that and goes down to our else and automatically says it's a weekday. Go to school. Now let's say I'm going to hit run. Let's say it's Saturday. It's the weekend. Stay home. The reason it does that, same thing. Make a change. It grabs the text. The text is now day. If day is Saturday, true. Or if day is Sunday, right? It's checking day equals Saturday. False. Day doesn't equal, but or. So now it says, okay, well, does day equal Sunday? Yes, true. And since it's true, it sets the label. It's the weekend. Stay home. And then it doesn't run the else. It will only run either the if part or the else part at one time. Okay, so let's just test each day like it asks. Monday, go to school, go to school, go to school, go to school, go to school. Weekend, weekend, go to school, weekend. Awesome. And if we wanted, we could have done and statements here instead, but then we would have to ask if it was Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. So this one is a bit tricky, but this is what worked for me. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and share this one just because this part's a bit confusing in the description. So that will be posted as well. Check the description. Awesome. Boom. And let's keep going.